Since you're listening to the Happier at Work podcast, I don't think I need to remind you of the reasons why autonomy is so important at work, but I'm going to do so anyway, I'm going to do it anyway. And really, it's about fostering a greater sense of job satisfaction at work. So people enjoy work more. They are happier at work. There's a greater degree of engagement in the work that people are doing, and it fosters a sense of trust with the organization, among peers, And all of those really brilliant things that at the end of the day lead to fantastic business results. Another hurdle is micromanagers. Now, I mentioned micromanagement earlier in the episode, but if you have a team of micromanagers or if you have people who have come up through through um, an organization and who've been micromanaged themselves and they don't know any better, then it can be quite hard to implement a, a greater deal of autonomy to other people who are in that organization as well. And this ties in with the idea of command and control, which is an old style of leadership where people tell you what to do, essentially, and you just get on and do it. And thankfully, I was going to say it doesn't exist at all anymore, but I'm sure there are some organizations who still have that style of leadership and some individuals who still have that style of leadership as well. But for the most part, people are moving into a different style of leadership, like transformational leadership, authentic leadership and a coaching style of leadership as well. Micromanagement happens at all levels in an organization. So it's not just at entry level that it happens or first time managers. People approach me all the time because they've been micromanaged or they're experiencing micromanagement. And it, it yeah, it happens at all levels throughout an organization. So just as a reminder of that as well, I just wanted to let you know. If this is happening to you, then it's not just you and know that it's not your fault and you can do something about it. 